Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and the name of this channel is Nothing But Bags. I call my channel Nothing But Bags because I have no interest in anything else other than handbags. When I'm getting dressed, I could care less about my clothes. My clothes are an accessory. My handbag is the main event. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please lean back in your seat, make yourself comfortable. If you are a returning friend to this channel, thank you so much for your support. It's sincerely appreciated. As you saw from the title of this video, this is a little bit different. The channel is called Nothing But Bags. From time to time, we're going to do nothing but talk. And we're going to talk about a topic that is obviously handbag related because that's all I care about around here is handbags. Recently, one of the content creators that I absolutely love on this platform, Isa from Asia, came on and did a video talking about some negative comments that she received on a video. She did a video sharing her full coach handbag collection and this video is doing amazing. It has got like over 30,000 views. It's just, it's so cool. The, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this is because in my circle, my friend girls don't like handbags like I like handbags. And the ones that do like handbags care less about luxury bags. So I wanted to be in this community on YouTube to just talk about handbags with people that like to talk about handbags. People that like to unbox them and talk about their collection and how they make their choices and decisions about the bags that they'll purchase. I wanted to kind of just be a part of a community. That was my main reason for doing this. I'm so excited that her video did so well because she has an amazing collection of coach bags. When you post a video, you don't know if anybody's gonna watch it. You, you just don't know. You put tags on it, you hashtag and things of that nature, but you really don't know if anyone is gonna be interested in the topic that you're interested in. And so I was so excited for her having that much visibility. I posted on my community wall. I was super excited about it. I'm still shouting it out. If you have not seen that video, I do not know what's wrong with you. It will be linked in my description box. As soon as I finish this video, you can click the link and catch that video. Um, so after doing that video, she did another video talking about some of the derogatory comments that she had received uh, on her video. And when she first posted it, I even commented under that video and said, I'm shocked that anybody would have a negative comment to make about your collection because it's a beautiful collection. As you saw from the title of this video, this is about haters of handbags, handbag haters with a Z. <laughs> um, I recently did a little short. Um, I ordered a Dior phone pouch and I was so excited about this bag. As we all are, when we order a handbag, we're super excited about the purchase. When we watch it as it leaves the the facility, the warehouse where they're shipping it from. We watch as it goes through the various towns and cities between the shipper and your location. You see when the delivery date is gonna be. Most of these luxury houses require signatures, so you know that you're gonna need to be home or available when that delivery is made. If you're married, you typically wanna do it around a day where your spouse is not gonna be home. Really, is that just, was that just me? Or is it just me? Uh, but anyway, um, so you're tracking your package. You're so excited about getting your, your bag home. You cannot wait. And if you do this as, as a YouTuber, you can't wait to set your equipment up so you can film your unboxing or to set up yourself to live or record your unboxing of the bag. It's so exciting. So I was so excited about this bag. It happened. I ordered it during the inclement weather. So there was a slight delay in getting the bag, it was like one or two days where it was stuck at the hub because the hub was closed due to the snow and the ice on the ground. So um, it finally delivered. I was so excited it was here. I set up my stuff so I could record my unboxing and get my first impressions of it. Uh, I looked at the bag, I was like, beautiful canage leather. I was like, I've already, I already know what I'm gonna do for my video to talk about this. And um, I did my try on like I always do. And of course the chain strap was too short. I'm 5'8", 200 pounds for reference. And the bag stopped on the model. When you look at it on the website, it's right at her waistline or maybe a little below her waistline. And for me, it was underneath my breast per usual. And I've talked about this in previous videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what the ham sandwich you're waiting on. 
Um, I've talked about this in previous videos. I do have an issue with handbag companies that don't provide a chain strap or a strap that's adjustable or long enough to accommodate different body frames. Um, I feel like if you're paying $1,000 or more for a handbag, you should be able to wear it the same way the, the, the models wear it on their websites. And I did a lot of, I did, I checked a lot of videos out online about this bag before I bought it. And nobody did a try on. So when I tried on, I was hugely disappointed. I immediately went to Amazon and ordered a chain strap extender. And about five minutes later, I said, nope. I'm spending too much money to have to buy a chain extender. I want to wear the bag the way it was designed. I'm just going to send it back, which I did. And I did a short on my channel describing the unboxing and that experience. My, my videos here recently have gotten 100 views, if that. Um, I have less than 400 subscribers. So when I posted the short, I really didn't expect anybody to watch it. I was, I'm doing shorts to kind of build up my viewership, to kind of expand my channel beyond people that specifically are, are, are subscribed to my channel or I'm recommended to someone who watches my stuff. And it, it increases my views. Shorts increase your views. So I posted it, never looked back at it because I didn't think if I was going to look at it. I went on about my day. This morning, I started my morning like I always do. I saw that I had my little bell had some alerts on it on my uh, on my YouTube channel. So I checked my bell out and I'm like, oh, got some comments. And the comments were, uh, get over yourself. Um, there are worse things to deal with in the world. Um, do you know that there is hunger, war, uh, cancer in this world and you're upset about a handbag? And so it made me think about Isa from Asia's video and when she talked about the negative comments. Um, what happens sometimes is, is, because that video, that short at the time of me recording this had about a thousand views. What happened is the handbag community and YouTube in general uh, intersected. You know how you're driving sometimes and you're headed somewhere, you get off on the wrong exit? Well, the viewer got off, those viewers got off on the wrong exit. They're not handbag, the handbag community. They're not people that love handbags, watch handbag unboxings, are interested in handbags. They're not people that care anything about handbags. They may be on YouTube for politics. They may be on YouTube for gaming, for movie reviews. And it just so happens that their YouTube intersected with my handbag video. And I think that's what happened with Isa as well. I think that people that would not normally have been aware of her channel or my channel happened up on a video and didn't like the content. And it's cool because there's a lot of content I don't like. And I'm sure there's a lot of content that you don't like. Um, we all come across videos that are recommended to us that we don't care for. If you go on YouTube on one screen, it's all the people you're subscribed to. And on another screen, it's recommendations based on other people that watch you, based on other people that you watch, based on things you may have clicked on and watched one time but really weren't vibing with. But what's so nutty to me is... You take the time to watch something that you're not interested in. This is not something that you would have clicked on yourself. You're not in the handbag community. You know immediately this is not something you're interested in. You waste the time to watch the video. Now, mine was a short 50 seconds. Isis' video was longer than my short. And then you take the time to type a comment. <laughs> As if you have not wasted enough brain cells watching my video complain about my Dior disappointment. You went above and beyond and typed a comment when you could have scrolled on by. You could have just saw that and been like, this girl need to get over herself and scrolled on by. Basically, there are a couple of different types of people. There are some people that um, just genuinely think that we that are in the handbag community are wasting our money on handbags, that we are not paying our bills and buying bags instead, that we are worried about handbags when there's so many other problems in the world, as if we don't know this. And there are some people that uh, are just a little bit envious of what people have 
and are mad that they can't have that themselves or they perceive that they can't have that themselves. Um, but I'm doing this video primarily because what I ended up doing was I cut comments off of that video and I deleted those comments. And the reason I did it is because I'm a happy person. I, there are a lot of things going on in the world that cause me sadness. A lot of things. But this channel is called Nothing But Bags. And bags make me happy. And I post my videos because I want to join with other people who also have a love for handbags. And if I, if somebody doesn't like what I have to say or doesn't like my video, they don't have to watch it. They certainly don't have to drop down and make a comment on it. That's like wasting a lot of time that you could have used to watch something you like. Um, and I'm doing this video because in my little circle of the folks that I watch and that support me and that I support on here, like Isa from Asia, we're going to have videos that are going to do well. We're going to have videos that are going to get a lot of clicks and views. We may even get thousands of subscribers potentially. I'm claiming that. I'm claiming that. I'm speaking those things that were not as though they were. And if you know, you know. Uh, I'm claiming that for us. And there are going to be people that are going to drop down and not always be happy about what we're posting. Or they're going to say ugly and nasty things. And we're going to have to have a tough skin. And we're going to have to remember why we're doing this. And I have to... I, I, my post, uh, I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and Valentine's Day this year is going to be on a Wednesday. So this video is going to be my Valentine's video that'll post the Tuesday before Valentine's Day. And I'm posting it because I love the handbag community. I love handbags and I want the circle of people that I'm a part of to know that regardless of what negative comments or negative posts are made under our videos, we're doing this because we love handbags. And we love this community. And don't ever let anybody take that joy and that love from you because they happen to get off on the wrong exit. Anyway, this has gone on way too long. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. I hope that someone bought you a handbag, a SLG, um, a bad charm, something for Valentine's Day that's handbag related. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please drop down in the comment section. If you are a YouTuber and you've experienced negative comments, please drop down and tell us how you've handled that. Um, if you've never experienced it, tell me how you would handle it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, it is free. It's a Valentine's gift to me. Give me a thumbs up as a Valentine's gift. That's all I'm asking for. And one other thing, I want you to have an absolutely wonderful day.